Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing a tarot reading for Matrix Richardson. Before I begin, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button to get notified on my next upload because I will upload a new video every week. And for those of you who have subscribed to my channel, you are entitled to a free reading. And if you want to have yours, you can just message me to my email or send a direct message to my Instagram. All of the details will be in the description box below. Mitris Richardson was a 24-year-old American woman who went missing on September the 17th, 2009, after being released from a jail in Calabasas, California, where she had been taken after behaving erratically at a restaurant. On the evening of September the 16th, 2009, Richardson entered the parking lot of Jeffrey's restaurant in Malibu due to what staff and patrons at the restaurant described as bizarre behavior and the fact that she was unable to pay her $89 bill. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department from the Malibu or Los Hills Station was called to assess her condition. According to the arresting officers, Upon her arrest, her phone, purse, and money were secured in her car and her car was towed to a tow yard on the Pacific Coast Highway. Richardson was detained and booked at the Malibu or Lost Hills Sheriff's Station approximately 10 miles up Malibu Canyon. Although Richardson's mother informed the station of concern of her daughter's mental health and despite promises from the station personnel that she would not be released until later in the morning, Richardson was released on September the 17th, 2009 at 12.28 a.m. with no belongings and no means of calling for assistance. She was missing for 11 months before being found deceased in August 2010 by park rangers who were in the area to inspect a marijuana grow site. Okay, let's just start with the reading. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have the Ten of Pentacles, Justice card, the Sun, the Fool, Four of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Nine of Wands, and Five of Pentacles. Now I would like to start with the full here. I think this represents her energy. I think that she was under influence of something that caused her to act um, differently. Basically, this tells me that she was ungrounded. Now I would like to address the Ten of Pentacles that is so close with the Justice here. We know that this justice card usually represents about um, the justice system, the law. So I feel that with the Ten of Pentacles that is so close with this, it kind of tells me that the justice was not served properly. I feel like the justice system was corrupted. Not the whole justice system. I feel that particularly for this case, it was not supposed to be that way. Uh, and it's not necessarily means that money was, was involved but I feel that this could also represent power someone in the authority misused their power and with the sun here I feel that this is like a timeline like a time where she should be released it just made no sense why would they release her during midnight without giving her any phone call without her car with her so this could also mean one of the corruption that i said but for them they are the power so they can use their power to do whatever they want and this four of cups here i feel that they didn't give her a proper amount of rest she needed to be able to think and act clearly and with the two of pentacles here it clearly shows that she was still confused with her surrounding i think that she was still not in her best condition 
and she haven't got a grip of what's happening and what to do next. With the Three of Wands and the Nine of Wands here, I feel like this shows me that she was being followed by someone and she was lured to a certain area where this follower can do something to her and nobody will know. Because with the Five of Pentacles here, I feel like she was kind of lost or didn't know where she was and even if she screamed, no one uh, would come to help her. I would like to draw more cuts to get more insight about this case. Okay, let's see what we have. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Strength Guard, King of Wands, Four of Chalices, Nine of Chalices, Page of Swords, Four of Pentacles, another Queen of Swords, and Ace of Wands. I would like to start with King of Wands here. I feel like this is her follower. He was the one responsible for this, but I don't really know who he is. The Eight of Pentacles and the Strength card here. I feel that he has a strong resources. Um, and he's kind of like powerful in a way he can use that resources to make sure that he can escape from whatever charges he may have to deal with and there's another four of cups here this one for me feel like she was hiding from someone and i feel that someone is this uh, king of wands and then because there's a four of pentacles here i feel that the spot she was hiding was exactly where he wanted her to be because four of pentacles here to me tells that he knew the area quite well and he knew exactly where to find the spot um, like the the best spot where he could do whatever he wanted without someone noticing and the page of swords here represents her energy Mitris's energy I feel like she was blindsided to go to the edge like in this picture because she couldn't think clearly and she was lured to the area where she was not familiar with by someone who wanted to do something to her and i feel like because she was represented by the page of swords she tried to put on a fight she tried to do something about it but i think that because no one's around to help her and she was not really in her best state of mind she couldn't really fight him and with the nine of chalices here i feel that he potentially i didn't really uh, read about her autopsy if there's any out there whether or not she was sexually assaulted but i feel that it was the first purpose of him following her he wanted to assault her sexually this queen of swords is her mother's energy along with the mother of swords here from the first deck as the shadow card i feel like this is a strong energy from her mother who tried her best to seek justice about what happened to her daughter and i think even until now she will still do whatever she can to know what happened to her daughter and the ace of wands here for me is a bit of a closure for her because then she finally found Mitri's body so that she could bury her properly and this is not the end this is just a start of 
another long journey her mother had to endure. And the Queen of Pentacles here, I feel that this probably represents another energy of Mitri's mom or probably the grandma. They have this gut feeling about something terrible happened to her and that I think the universe sent them the messages and that's why they keep on doing their best to solve her case. Now from the oracle card we have moon cycles, hello from heaven and overcoming difficulties. I think the hello from heaven here is the message we get from Mitris. I think she's trying to send a message to her family or whoever care about what happened to her. And I feel that the moon cycle here represents that the mother especially has a strong intuition. They have this, a special bond and I feel that Mitris sends messages to her and I think that she can feel it. The overcoming difficulties here, I feel that this is the message she wanted to also send to her family. I think that Mitris want them to heal and to overcome what happened to her. Yeah, I think that is all the reading for Mitris Richardson. And once again, this is for entertainment purpose only. I don't mean to offend anybody here. I would like to hear your opinion about this case too. So please share it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next Unsolved Cases reading.